Hey guys here for another video and today's video is sponsored by Blue Chew. Uh, just kidding, I, I actually tried messaging a couple people but uh, I don't think anyone wants to work with me yet just because I'm so blunt and so uh, like I don't really give a fuck about trying to make connections with people. If I do, awesome. If I don't, I don't really care. I'm just trying to be blunt because uh, with OnlyFans obviously there's a lot of people that scam other people and I think it's good that a channel not just like mine, because I'm not unique in any, any way, right? Another person can make an OnlyFans review channel and say the same thing as I'm saying. Uh, I just feel like it's good to call out these people that try to scam other people. Or sometimes they don't really scam, but they take advantage of men. They take advantage of, uh, there's a, such a term called drop shipping, right? AKA, uh, someone can make an OnlyFans for like a first week, right? And then their OnlyFans is complete trash, but the whole bunch of people are so interested in it that they get it and then they kind of fall off. So, uh, Bella Thorne's a perfect example of that. But I did try to get contacting Blue Chew because, um, for those that don't know, Blue Chew is like Viagra and gum form. So if you ever want to give your friend some gum, which I have done at work, it was kind of funny where someone's like, Hey dude, you can I have some gum? My breath smells. I'll be like, sure. I got some gum. And they don't really say anything because I don't really tell them it's blue chew. So I feel like it's kind of funny that they're walking around work with a huge ass boner. Just imagine you're in an accounting atmosphere or whatever. You have a meeting, you stand up. All right, guys, we're going to look at the quarterly fiscal, whatever, whatever. And you just see his huge horse donkey dick uh, sticking out. But uh, yeah, random story. So let's just get right into the OnlyFans review. So like I said, we're looking at Kendra Lust. She is one of the OGs in the whole porn industry. I used to watch her a long time ago. Most people know who she is. You know how in like in the Power Rangers, there's like the Red Ranger, like from the 90s, everyone knows about the Green Ranger and all that stuff. She is one of the Power Rangers, one of the seven Power Rangers, if I'm right, there's seven of the OG ones. Uh, so again, she is a titan in the whole porn atmosphere. She's taken so much dick. And one thing I will say is that there's a lot of porn stars that try to stem out of their whole porn uh, image, which is very hard, right? Think of it like this, right? I get dicked for 20 years. Now suddenly I want to be an entrepreneur. I feel like she embraces it. And that's like kind of like the way you have to deal with OnlyFans stuff. It's like embrace that you are this sex object. Embrace it. And again, be self-aware. And kind of if you do want to stem off it, just be like upfront and transparent. And know like, hey guys, I'm completely new to this. I'm only good at sucking dick, but I'm going to try something else and try my best to change my image. So again, respect to anyone that does that. So let's talk about our social media a little bit. going to be very quick because obviously if you're watching, this video you most likely know who she is like i said she is one of the og titans and power rangers with the porn industry so she does have an instagram 6.8 million followers massive following again i like what her, all the stuff that she has in the hub i like everything she does big fan of her but i'm gonna be pretty strict to her i always say only fans if you are a porn star uh i'm gonna be just more strict because again there's already hundreds or thousands of videos that already exist you already have the experience of producing and the whole production of an adult video so you should obviously have good quality and content in your only fans if you were to decide to make that right it doesn't really make sense to get a porn star's only fans if they have better content out there for free so again if you guys want to see what type of social media stuff she posts and kind of if she sexualizes herself or not again she does look at her instagram look at her twitter she's still in that porn atmosphere and i will commend her like i said she does try to stem out a little bit just from the porn industry and again it is in line for brand ak she has her own podcast which is cool a uh, little boring for me if you look at the numbers of the podcast it is a little indicative that i always say this with porn's a double-edged sword right no one really likes you too much for your personality if you do porn right they like you because you're taking dick they like you for how you look and it's just a very very small percentage that someone will like you for your personality and taking dick right so again it's cool that she has a podcast the numbers aren't there it's not much of a personality in my opinion but if you guys do want to see that you can check it out and last thing i did notice that she had some merch again it's cool that you have some merch but you have to be very careful with merch merch should be a passion project it shouldn't be like a hey let's just stamp this in and give you guys this product and pray to god people uh will buy it i think it's kind of like trying to prey on your fans and stuff again it's cool that she has this merch but i feel like merch should be a passion project and it's just not in line with her whole uh brand again if you sell merch and you're not wearing it in your instagram if you're not promoting it in your social uh, media platforms if you're not seeing that and not consistent if even your own merch that kind of tells you if it's good merch or not so let's just get right into only fans so only fans is ten dollars a month i would say five to fifteen dollars a good price right we can get a triple x act actress aka a whole bunch of avn all that stuff again we know the whole shebang of her we know that she's an adult star we know who she is and we're here to 
see if her OnlyFans is good or not. Now I will say, uh, with her OnlyFans, I'm gonna sound a little bit more strict, like I said earlier, just to give you guys a little PSA. So right off the bat, when you see it, you have 1,718 photos and 549 videos, which are very good numbers. But I will say, having a lot of photos doesn't really make sense, right? She's a porn star. We've seen everything about her. We've seen her kidneys. We've seen her large intestine, her in intestine. We've seen so many things up her ass. We probably know how her esophagus looks like. Again, photos just do not hold that much value when you're someone as big as her and i say in general nudes and pictures of nudes just do not hold that much value unless you're like a disney star and no one has ever seen you nude but we've already seen you nude so again pictures just do not hold as much value but if you want to see over a thousand five hundred pictures of her being nude in different ways that is an option so just get with the video so i will say i was looking at a lot of her videos and the thing i do not like about it is that her videos are divided between actual videos and gifs OnlyFans considers GIFs as a video, aka a two second video, and I will say the majority of her videos are pretty short. I just don't see what I'm paying for in the base sub. When I saw all the videos, there are some videos, again, fairly short. They are very, very good quality. The production is amazing, but they're only two seconds long or three seconds long or five seconds long. And every video that I saw honestly felt like a short clip of a trailer of what you could see. I couldn't find anything that was a full length video that was similar to what we already see on Pornhub. And so I always say with OnlyFans, cool, if you're a porn star, sure, there's free content online, but there should be some exclusive free content in the base sub uh if i'm paying for it right it just doesn't make sense i'm only getting clips and trailers and short gifs of what i could see in the dms i'm sure her model's working i'm sure she's making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month i'm pretty sure she's a millionaire but speaking from the average person it just doesn't make sense that obviously if i'm paying for something why do i want a two second video why do i want a three second video her longest video isn't even that long it's just over a couple minutes and again most of her videos are within like the five to ten second range so there just isn't anything good in the base of but I will say the few videos that she does have she puts in the effort she puts in the quality she puts in the production she puts in a lot of effort as I can tell because when I see the angling when I see the resolution when I see that type of stuff I'm like okay she does have the capacity to put out a lot of good content and she is putting out a lot of good content but she's putting it over a paywall which to me doesn't make sense that I'm paying something and then I ha there's another paywall there's like double paywall it feels like I'm trying to cross them imagine that I'm Mexican right I cross the border to america i'm happy and guess what there's another wall so it's kind of like that's how i felt when i saw her only fans in general but again if you want to see that stuff i saw some leaks online of the videos that she is offering the dms excellent videos excellent quality i honestly like applaud her that she's doing that but i feel like if you have so many videos you should give like a free length video for free every week right i always say this if you have 100 videos that you're filming a month which is a lot by the way let's just say 30 videos a month right you should at least offer once a like one video a week to your base sub so me as an average person be like oh wow she does care about these base subs she does care about these uh fans that aren't that spending as much money because let's face it not everyone has a lot of money to spend we are you know 9.99 is a lot for some people that's like lunch for some people for 10 days believe it or not depending on where you live but uh again if i think her only fans is good or not honestly it has the potential to be very good in my eyes if she just gave out full length videos a little bit more i just don't see any full length videos in her base sub everything is a dm unfortunately and i love her as she's a a good person she seems like a cool person even though her personality is a little dry mine's a little dry as well but uh i just expected a lot more in the base sub coming from her to be honest so if it's good or not if you don't mind watching two to five second ten second videos and gifs of her then you might consider it good i just don't consider it good because i have very high expectations to someone like her and i always hold any only fans girls with high expectations right think about it what are you doing by day by day you're filming yourself get fucked at least put in a little bit more ever for your base sub viewers or fans or whatever sub whatever you want to call them so uh yeah you guys can definitely check it out if you want to so like always guys please leave a comment below apparently my google form got to taken down for violent tos someone probably posted child porn or something messed up on the google form because everyone can access it so i'm probably going to look into that i can see who posted what uh in the back end so i could probably report the person that did that so like always guys i appreciate you guys watching this video please give it a like please give it a subscribe like i say i do look at every single request it's just going to take some time so thanks guys for watching please sub or i will kill myself. Later.